The drains work for a map. When you hear politicians or the media saying it's really disgraceful that 20% of children can't read at the appropriate standard when they're 11, the tests that are bringing about these kinds of comments are not really examining whether they can read the print on the page. They're examining or testing quite fine responses to children's ability to interpret and deduce meanings from what they read. Reading for understanding and enjoyment is the focus of Olivia O'Sullivan's work at the Centre for Literacy in Primary Education and their Power of Reading project. They work with teachers to develop ways of involving children in books and stories as a way of raising standards as well as enjoyment. Last year's project group included Catherine Gadula. Last year I was involved in the whole Power of Reading project and that basically completely changed my whole idea of how I teach literacy. I tend to spend quite a long time on each of the texts because there's so much you can do around it. The last book we did was Bigu. One of the ways of getting the children to think about the story is to make sure that they know the story well. So one of the things we did was get them to retell the story by making up their own Bigu book. They took it in turns to do the illustrations and the writing and they talked about what happened on each page and what they were going to write. We looked really closely at this picture and we thought about this little girl here should have gone to get the teacher because Vigi was in the playground. So lots of different ideas came out of, of that where they really think about not just the main character but the other characters in the story and what their reason for doing different things might be. How she's feeling on the inside. Drawings of where we think Bigu might come from, so what her planet might look like, and who might be there, and where they might live. Today, 2G are starting work on the book Grace and Family. They've met the main character in an earlier book. Now they're going to put themselves in her shoes. We had a look at a book all about Amazing Grace, and then we thought about everything we found out about Grace. The first thing I did was thought about what we'd learnt about Grace as a character and we went over all the things that we know about her. We found out she likes making up stories, she likes watching the ballet and she has lost her two front teeth. How did we find that out? Because you can tell in the picture. You can see it in the picture, can't you? Now, today, we're going to read another story. And then we read the first two pages Grace of Grace and, and Family. Family. It's one of the books which is recommended by the Power of Reading Project. The books which they have recommended have always really engaged the children and got them thinking about a lot of issues and ideas um, that come out of books. Grace lived with her ma and nana and a cat called Pawpaw. Next to her family, what Grace liked best She was, was reading the book aloud stories. to children. We see such that as essential for children to be drawn into the book, to feel enthusiastic about the story, and for all children, whether they can read the book or not, to actually hear the words on the page. Grace read by a teacher who's actually giving a real tune to the story. About how we split up and your papa went back to Africa. He has another family now, but he's still your father. Even Using texts like this helps you to deal with a lot of the issues which the children might have inside their heads, but have maybe never really had an avenue or a voice to, to say it. Guess what? Your papa sent the money for two tickets to visit him in Africa for the Easter holidays. Nana says she'll go with you if you want. She had made up so many fathers for herself, she had forgotten what the real one was like. OK. I'm not going to read any more. I think that's a great way to use a text, is that you don't dive in and use a whole book straight away, because it, me it means that the children are also really looking forward to what's going to happen next. Does anybody have any ideas as to what we could add now to our chart? Have we found out anything new about Grace? Rachel? Her papa split up with her 
with her mum really? and then he went back to Africa. Her father lives in Africa so she doesn't really get to see him. She had two tickets from her father to go to Africa. Brilliant. So, now, I imagined I was writing in Grace's diary as Grace. I wrote a really short diary entry as Grace before she got the tickets from her father. And it just was a way of getting the children to start thinking about getting into role and writing diary entries. Because although we've done it before this year, it is a relatively new idea for them. So I wanted to show them a model of it first before we started to write our own. Maybe my papa would be kind and helpful. I wish I knew what he was really like get them to be that person in the book and it becomes real, it becomes meaningful, it becomes something that they want to do and that they want to find out more about. Why do you think Grace might want to keep a diary? Be honest. Because you've got something important in there. Important in where? In her head. In her head. And Jonas, what does she want to do with that thing in her head? Um, keep it. She wants to keep it. She wants to write, to write it down, to keep it there so that she can read it. Good. We thought about how Grace would be feeling getting the plane ticket and the children were put into pairs. One of you is Ma and one of you is Grace. And they were okay. reenacting the time, the moment when Grace's um, mum gave her, or her ma gave her the ticket. How would she be feeling inside about getting this ticket? I want you to also show me on your face how you're feeling. Looking around the room, you could really tell that the children were thinking about it a lot just by what they were doing with their faces. Feeling very shocked. No, they were looking shocked and they were like, oh, you know, I'm going, I'm going to Africa. And, and I think that was a really good way of starting them off thinking about the thought of going away to see her father. It's a for you. What if my papa's got a new family? How would I feel then? I think using the plane tickets in the picture was a good way of starting them off, getting them to think about it, actually doing something that was happening in the story. You're helping children to actually step inside the story through role play, through talking to each other. You're going to be Ma and you're going to be Grace. 